As the launch of the Galaxy S24 series is nearing, the number of leaks has also increased. The tech insider Bennett Bruner, who is a well-known source of One UI 6.1 leaks, has recently revealed exciting features that are expected to be part of the Galaxy S24 series. The first feature, known as Circle to Search, allows users to gather more information about any element on their screen, be it an image or a web page. By long pressing the home button and either circling or tapping the desired element, a Google search will promptly appear from the bottom of the screen with additional details. Another feature enables users to convert their recordings, meetings, or lectures into text for a quick review. This feature also includes a translation option, allowing users to translate the text into any language of their choice. In addition to this, the S24 will come equipped with a built-in interpreter in the quick panel, enabling users to translate conversations and either read them or listen to them aloud. The S24 will also offer advanced editing options, similar to those found on Pixel phones, allowing users to move people or objects within an image and expand the image. A feature called Browser Assist was also discussed recently. By tapping the icon, users can summarize or translate the web page they are viewing. This feature is expected to be a time saver and a game changer for those who frequently browse the web. The S24 also offers the option to mask the wallpaper on the lock screen and home page for those who desire a change. For owners of the S23, Z Fold 5, or Flip 5, there's good news. Some of these AI features are expected to be brought to these existing devices. However, given that One UI 6.1 is not a typical update, it's advisable to remain cautiously optimistic. Optimistic. These devices are expected to receive the update in the first quarter. Samsung's reserve offer has also improved. In addition to the $50 credit offered for reserving, an additional $100 is being offered for the S24 Ultra if you pre-order the phone. This means a total of $150 of Samsung credit, plus a free storage upgrade. Lastly, Samsung showcased the Galaxy Buds at the CES, which come with a touchscreen case that can display information such as battery life levels for the earbuds and case, audio modes, and ANC status. While this is not yet a commercial product, it could be in the future. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these recent developments. Also, are you excited to try the Galaxy S24 series? Is there any feature or hardware that you think Samsung should bring back in the Galaxy S24 series? Do you think the Samsung S24 Ultra will be able to beat other smartphones in the camera segment? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.